Austria entered its fourth lockdown on Monday. Die gegenwärtige Pandemielage in Deutschland ist dramatisch. Ich kann es The present pandemic situation is dramatic. I can't yeah. put it any other way. The fourth wave has hit our country with full force. The UK seems less likely to go into lockdown than other European countries. And also in one of the headlines, I see the say. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Jesheri Shere, one and only. And we are back again today on this beautiful day, guys. Today, guys, we're going to talk about a very serious issue. Very serious issue, guys. This is COVID, okay? This is COVID that struck the world in 2019. And some countries hid it because they didn't want uh, to suffer the loss alone or something like that. But they shared it to the whole world and everyone has gotten it. Um, 2020 became very popular, okay. Covid became the most popular thing on earth, yeah. It was almost more popular than the word God. Can you believe it? Covid just came and took over. Yeah, everybody, whether you speak English or whatever language you speak, everybody knows Covid. Everybody does know Covid, okay, well, almost everybody. And um, 2021, I was thinking that, okay, by now, COVID will be relenting, to be dying away. But no, COVID had been mutating, mutating, evolving, evolving. That's what they've been saying. And people said that COVID was created. Guys, guys, me, my own question is this, yeah? When is this COVID going to end? Okay, people have been taking vaccinations for vaccinations, then booster. And they say another variant is coming again. I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. Austria has gone into lockdown and the Austrians are not finding it funny at all Okay, here we see the Austrians saying I want my freedom back thousands protest against COVID lockdown in Austria video Tens of thousands of people protested across Austria against the renewed restrictions and the vaccine mandate As Europe again becomes the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic You know this lockdown yeah last year it felt like a prison I was just home. I mean, the first month, I was like, oh, yeah, no work, I'm home, my family. Second month, third month, it felt like a prison, okay? Look, a lot of people were getting depressed. A lot of people killed themselves because of the lockdown. Yeah, the news was so crazy. So, another lockdown, mm, I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, I know it's to save lives, but another lockdown again. Austria entered its fourth lockdown on Monday. The whole nation, including those who are fully vaccinated, have to stay home for all but essential reasons, including work, exercise and shopping for essentials. Austria is also the first European country to make the COVID vaccination a legal requirement. So now they've made vaccination compulsory and that's one that people have been against. Okay, people have been against that even in the UK. Now how can you make COVID vaccination compulsory? Where is that free will? And here we hear that Germany again, German cases have risen up so, so, so high and uh, Germany is considered another lockdown. Die gegenwärtige Pandemielage in Deutschland ist dramatisch. Ich kann es the present pandemic situation is dramatic. I can't yeah. put it any other way. The fourth wave has hit our country with full force. And even though there is no more legal ground for the pandemic national emergency situation, I have mm -hmm. no doubt that we are in the midst of such an emergency situation. The daily figure of new COVID-19 cases is higher than ever before during this pandemic, and the number of patients in intensive care units is rising very rapidly. Wow. What's also frightening is the daily figure of deaths. Is that bad in Germany? Yeah, is that bad in Germany? Wow, I thought they said um, like it was almost eradicated there because you guys have so very stringent control and I thought that maybe by now uh, it's all good over there, see? And um, many other countries in Europe as well are protesting. I know the Netherlands too are protesting against it. Another dark city rocked by discontent. Mm. In The Hague, rioters burned bicycles and pelted police with stones and fireworks. Officers used horses, dogs, batons and bikes to chase them away. People Earlier, anti-vax demonstrators brought music to the southern city of Breda. And these are anti-vaxxers. I know, yeah, they say the vaccine uh, is there to help lives, help lives, help lives. But people are getting a bit more sceptical because you take a first dose, you take a second dose, then you take a booster. People that had vaccination died from COVID.
they say oh no it makes it less severe people are getting so so worried so so scared it's a normal thing for people to be scared you know what i mean but like enforcing it making it by force Ja, es nervt jetzt einfach und ich würde mir schon wünschen, dass ich jetzt mehr impfen lassen, damit wir mal aus dieser Schleife rauskommen. Ja, das wäre jetzt so meine Erwartung. I mean, like if it was that easy, if it was like as easy as A, B, C, like take vaccination and COVID eradicated. Okay, that's amazing. But people that are taking vaccination as they get in the COVID and they get in quarantine and they're hit, being hit really, really badly. So it doesn't seem like the answer is just it just doesn't seem like it's just a straight way. Nein, hätte schon viel früher kommen müssen, dann wären wir nicht in diesem Schlamassel. Das ist meine Meinung. Wir hätten das meines Erachtens, wenn das politisch etwas strikter alles durchgeführt worden wäre, schon längst vermeiden können, dass es sich jetzt so zuspitzt, dass die Intensivstationen überlaufen. Und ich denke, dass es absolut richtig und überfällig ist, dass da reagiert wird. Ja? Also Lockdown ist für mich absolut okay. Ich bin geimpft und ich will mich jetzt boostern lassen. Ich finde es gerechtfertigt. Schauen Sie mal, es werden so viele so viel kranke mhm. Leute haben wir momentan da. Okay. Und die Ungeimpften, äh, sie tragen halt dazu bei. Und ich will halt nicht unbedingt angesteckt werden. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. So those are unvaccinated, when they get COVID, if they don't die, it lasts about 180 days, which means they will be free of COVID in that time period. Yeah? So there's going to be something like herd immunity. So if they have it and they're cured, then those that have vaccination uh, are supposed to like, you know, be free of COVID or have it mildly, then it will work out in a way. I don't know. I'm just speaking rubbish, guys. You see, here we are friends, okay? I'm not professional, guys. We're here to discuss. And I hope you get the right answers in the comment section. Please don't be shy to make your comments. Put your comments, guys. I read the comments, okay? I try to reply as well as I can, but please put comments because this is something I want to hear your point of view okay i don't propaganda no i want to hear your true point of view because somehow we're definitely going to find the answer in dialogue that's what i really think ja doch aber ich hatte auch letztes jahr selber corona gehabt und ähm, möchte auch die leute um mich herum schützen dementsprechend das glaube ich sinnvoll yeah it does make sense man steht hier an wie ein dürfel für nichts stellen sich vor heute wird es regnen sie haben termin und keiner ist da Und ich, um 15 Uhr soll ich da sein. Jetzt ist es 10 vor, 5 vor 3. Mal sehen, ob ich um 15 Uhr da bin. Okay, this is crazy. And um, with all this craziness going on around, okay, um, I see this headline saying the UK seems likely or unlikely. The UK seems less likely to go into lockdown than other European countries. And also in one of the headlines, I see to say, here are Sajid Javid rules out compulsory COVID vaccinations in UK video. Because a lot of people are scared saying, okay, now the vaccination is going to be compulsory. But, he, uh, but Sajid, Sajid Javid said, no, no, it's not going to be compulsory. And it looks like the UK is like on less unlikely. It's less likely to go into lockdown. And that's also something that we've been scared of. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I really don't want another lockdown, but we need a solution to this problem. Okay, quickly. Why does the UK seem less likely to go into lockdown than the rest of Europe? Countries across Europe are facing waves of protests as new restrictions are introduced. So as Europe is here to fourth wave, why is the UK different? Hmm. Experts suggest reopening in July built a level of immunity in younger age groups. So they're saying that early reopening in UK helped. Is that so? Okay, vaccines. The UK's vaccination program was rolled out faster than most, meaning more protection. Okay, it's 8%. Okay, so more protection of over 12 in the UK have been vaccinated compared to 60% of Austria's population. Hmm. Boosters. More than 40 million Brits have received their boosters ahead of the colder winter months. That was too quick for me, mate. Okay. Many Europeans are eligible for a booster, yet only 60% of people in the EU. Oh, okay. I've had one. Cases. 
So cases in the UK appear to be leveling off after rising to 50,000 in October. Okay, so it rose up and then it's leveling. That's why. Hmm. Here in the UK, we've had high rates of infection for more for many months now, and we're in a slightly different position to Austria and Germany. Okay. The Prime Minister has consistently said a lockdown isn't on the cards. Okay. And that the government hasn't reached the point where it must consider Plan B. Okay. Okay. That is interesting. Okay, because here in the UK we're hit as well. A lot of people are worried, like a lot of my friends, from my colleagues too, are worried, like, so what's gonna happen if you get into a lockdown? What's gonna happen? Because like a lot of people lost their jobs, you know, I lost my job as well. Like the company I was working was short, so we we're all made redundant. And I just got back to work recently, about two months ago. And then um, now we're wondering, like, I never locked down again, so what's gonna happen again? You know, I know it's gonna really hit the economy, but apart from that is the depression. I know a lot of people that are going through bad habits. A lot of bad habits because of depression, because of the boredom, because of fear. Everyone was scared. People didn't know what to do, you know. And so people say, this is warfare. It's like World War II. Someone out there is controlling this. They made this. I don't know, guys. So many things all around going on. But to be honest, I think a, third lo a fourth lockdown is going to destroy people. It's really going to destroy people's emotions, people's lives. People are going to be scared, more scared. I think more people might end up killing themselves again. I don't know. And then, but the economy is definitely going to be hit. It's going to be definitely hit. And then if nothing is done, people are going to be dying. So what do you think the best solution is? Another lockdown or just more stringent? I don't know, guys. Like It's very confusing, you know, because this is something, something new. You know what I mean? But guys, what do you think? Put the answers in the comment section, okay? Let me know what your thoughts are, what you think the best situation is. Is it lockdown? Because you try lockdown, people are going to protest. They are going to protest. But what is the best solution, the best way out of this now? Anyways, we are share the one and only, guys. Like I said, here we're here to discuss and talk about issues, okay? I don't have the solution. It seems like the solution is just very vague, but what do you guys think, okay? Peace out.